Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to Stretford Paddock. I'm Adam McCullough, and Man United have beaten Leeds 2 0 at Ellen Road. Two late goals from Marcus Rashford and Alejandro Garnacho. And I saw people at half time in today's game talking about Marcus Rashford and oh, all this. It was time to have a conversation in this that midweek, Alejandro Garnacho, all right, is a little bit wasteful in the game, plays well, wastes a few chances, and you see people coming out and absolutely laying into him. Both of them silencing their critics today. Absolutely lovely stuff. And it was three points that Manchester United didn't deserve. Because up until the 80th minute, we were poor. All right, Bruno wasted a chance just before half-time that he should have scored. Diogo Delo hits the bar uh, with a good shot. But generally speaking today, Manchester United were poor. We made some changes. We brought Maguire in in, in the back um, alongside Luke Shaw at centre-half. Malasia and, and Delo at full-back. In the midfield, we had Sabitzer and Fred. Um, and... Retaining possession, keeping possession was just so poor. Harry Maguire giving it away constantly. Fred giving it away constantly. How he got man of the match on Sky Sports, I don't know. Um, I think I think someone gave Alan Smith a little bit of a bet. But you're looking at that and you were thinking, if we get out of here with a nil-nil, we're lucky. Because we were making mistakes left, right and centre. David De Gea had another one of his games where he was giving the ball away. Um, and I wrote in my notes when I was making some notes about the game. Like, I don't even flinch when they make mistakes anymore. De Gea does something stupid. Maguire does something stupid. Fred. I just expect it now from him. And that's not where we should be. And it shows you how much we really miss Casemiro. How much we really miss Christian Eriksen. How much we miss Martinez and Varane. We need depth in this squad if we want to win the league. Do you know what I mean? And hopefully we can get that in the next transfer window. Um, but today, big, big win. Poor performance. After dropping two points against Leeds at Old Trafford, it was important we got back to winning ways. We now go into second, albeit probably temporarily, as, as Manchester City play Aston Villa later on today. Um, but a big, big win. Marcus Rashford, 21 goals up for him this season. Um, he's one away from equaling his best ever tally. He'll go on to have probably his best ever season. He's been absolutely fantastic. His goal again today, incredible. Probably could have had another one as well but was just marginally offside um, on the VAR. So it's a bit unfortunate not to get that second goal, but incredible stuff from him. Count, uh, getting the goal when it really counted as well, stepping up with that header. Garnacho's goal, absolutely fantastic. The assist from Veghorst. And I thought Veghorst was another one of those that for 60, 70 minutes of the game, I was thinking, what's he done? What's the point in bringing him here? He's not doing anything. Don't get on the board. You don't get on any crosses. And then we made the change. We brought on... Off Malasia and Sancho. I think Sancho was our best player in the first half. We brought them off. We brought Garnacho on. We brought Martinez on. Martinez immediately made a huge difference. Veghorst dropped deeper when that happened. And Garnacho and Rashford pushed ahead of him. And, and Veghorst came into his own. He was bringing the ball down. He was linking up play. He was, he was playing a lot better. Uh, his switch of play for the Rashford goal was really good. And then he got the assist for the for the Garnacho goal. Um, Garnacho... Um, Fantastic goal for him. And Vegos could have had his own goal. Another goal disallowed. With 10 minutes to go, no way did I think we'd have the ball in the back of the net twice and be unlucky not to win 4-0. It was bad stuff. And sorry if I'm I'm slurring and I'm, I've got a lisp and all that. I've had an operation. Well, an operation. I've had a wisdom tooth out today. i got stitches all in my face. Hence why. And watching that game, it didn't help my mood. I was sitting there. My head was pounding. The drugs were wearing off. And I was watching Leeds. And Luke Hayling run around trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to take the mick against Man United. But thankfully, with 10 minutes to go, we got the win. Rashford and Garnacho with those goals. The performance was abysmal. De Gea not very good, although he got a clean sheet. Maguire not very good, although he got a clean sheet. Luke Shaw better when he went to left back. Lissandro Martinez came on and changed things. Um, I thought Malasia did okay in the first half, him and Sancho. Um, Diogo Delon, not a great game from him today. Sabitza, I think he'll be better when he's alongside someone like Casemiro. I don't think we're getting to see the best of him because of who he's playing with at the moment. Fred thought he was poor today. Um, Bruno, poor today. Frustrating. Angry. Should have scored just before the before half time. Um, you know, you look further forward. The, the front men were isolated um, up until 80 minutes. And when we made those changes, but we did make those changes. And I think Ten Hag deserves credit for making those changes today. And United deserves some credit for digging in because it was hard today at times. And although all those players that I've just mentioned played badly, we could have conceded, we could have got under the cash, they could have got on it and it would have been a different story. So 
it was good that we stayed in there, hung in there and got, you know, kept it nil nil and then got the win towards the end. Big result for United and back to winning ways. And with some difficult games coming up, we got Barcelona, we got Leicester, Barcelona again. So, you know, we need to be at it in the next couple of weeks. But um, yeah, big win for United. Rashford and Garnacho silencing the critics. We played crap at Ellen Road and beat them. You wouldn't want it any other way, would you? Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you're keeping it locked as well to Stretford Paddock. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Sorry I can't stick around for much longer. I need to rest this. But yeah, see you in a bit.